Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. So, my name is Chris Nan. So, I'm going to be your facilitator this morning. So, you have your laptop ready? Yes. So, today we are going to talk about how to use Canva. So, you can log in using one of these two uh, channels, my Sapporo University or LMS Sapporo University. You already have your single type on. You can use laptop or tablet, cell phone. Wi-Fi. Uh, how many of you doesn't have uh, Wi-Fi password? so you don't need password okay try it yeah yeah, you have a battery. You have a battery. You have a battery. You have a battery. You Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, for the ones yang set up Wi-Fi kemarin, uh, for those of you who set up Wi-Fi live, you can only access it using the device you sign up for in uh, the IT session. So, if you use another device, it's not going to work. But if you're using your laptop, then it should work. If they use the cell phone, now they have to use the cell phone too, right? Yeah. So if they didn't register the cell phone as a device, then they'll have to use their own phone. But this is only for today, right? During the uh, next week, any any guest would be okay with the password. Or they have different passwords. You, your laptop can like open personal hotspot and that's okay. Uh, can you do that for the laptop, for your tablet? No. Uh, that working problem is more problem is more Okay, for those who already connect to the internet, you can go to one of these sites.
Oh, you can use your your Well, I think I'll get a little bit of a little bit of a Lock katanya. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, ini ini publish all. Oh, ininya. Refresh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, try to refresh it. Yeah, refresh. Hey. So almost everyone has got into the campus. Right, so let's start our session. We only have 45 minutes for this. So the objective today is to introduce you to the learning management system Canvas. Okay. Any of you already used it in high school? Canvas? Um, maybe other types of LMS, right? The 
simpler one is like the uh, Google Classroom, right? Yeah. Uh, that's the simplest LMS. Now, for Canvas, if you have your single sign on uh, for all portals in Sampurna, you can just you uh, click Canvas e-learning. Okay, it will lead you to the dashboard here. So the dashboard will include all your subjects. Okay, later on you will have all your subjects here. For this training, we go to this NSO, Canvas tutorial. Right. Now, if you see on the left side here, this is the navigation bar, right? So pay attention to the navigation bar because you all have announcement. Your lecturers might uh, announce that. can go to all the way down here to the modules itself. Okay, so this is the navigation bar. But this one in particular, this is what we call as homepage. Okay. Okay, so uh, who is in uh, faculty of business? Business, engineering, Ooh. education, psychology, no psychology. Okay, so uh, you will have uh, a particular course in Canvas. Okay, so it is imperative that you always check the canvas. Yeah, your success depend on canvas. Why? Let me show you an example. Wait. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, people. This is this is from my own class. Yeah. So I can give an example of these hours that a particular student spent on canvas in some uh, in one semester so this person 80 hours in one semester right compared to this person 17 hours one semester in one semester three three to four months right and you only spend 17 hours and you expect to get an A? Not a chance. You have to spend more. Why? Because in Canvas, yeah, we already given you all the materials there, right? Uh, for example, uh, this is my own class. Wait. What is happening? Oh, okay. So, in Canvas, we already put the PPT slides here. So you, 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 if you want to learn ahead of your friend, you can just go through all the materials first, right? So everything is in there in Canvas. Mm. The connection is not good here. Mm. Yeah. OK, but you can download all the materials here later on for, for all, each of your course, right? This is just an example from my own uh, class. And uh, for the learning resource, you, uh, some lecturers might give you videos also. And of course, in the module itself, you have to pay attention to the instruction, OK? 
Now we'll go back to our Canvas tutorial here. So here we have modules. So it will look like this. So how many weeks in one semester for, for SU students? One semester, how many weeks of study? 16, including mid-semester and final exam, right? So for learning is 14 weeks, right? So you will have 14 modules here later on, right? Uh, first, probably this is the welcome page, the introduction, and then they will have week one module, week two, week three, week four, until week 14, right? Uh, so all you have to do is just regularly check your canvas, okay? Check your canvas, and then, for example, next week will be our first week, right? Okay, what should I do? I can just go in the canvas, say, Saturday or Monday before the actual class begins, right? So I know what the lecturer expects me to do. If you go to canvas on a particular day, let's say, for example, Monday, 8 o'clock, and then you open the canvas at the same time, you will miss something, right? You don't have time to read, right? So spend time before the actual class, okay? Now, uh, go to this navigation bar. Um, you can also, oh, mind me. Uh, I forgot to turn in the student view. This is the lecturer's view. Okay, so on your uh, student canvas, it will look like this. Okay, so very simple. You have 14 modules here, right? And then you can also, let me hear, this is for the discussion. Mm -hmm. So the lecturers might assign you to a discussion forum like this. So you just have to click, for example, here. Hmm. This, later on, we will talk about this, yeah? But this is an example of a discussion forum. The lecturers will specify what you should do in that particular discussion, okay? And then uh, go to assignment. So all the assignment will be here, and there will be a timeline showing you the due dates, all right? So if you connect to Microsoft Teams, your calendar will also uh, indicate the due dates. So don't worry, yeah? It will connect to your uh, calendar, yeah? So you, we have already here a uh, Canvas quiz. This is the discussion, yeah? I think we can do Canvas quiz later on. Okay. Now. Ah, this is the grades. Wait. Uh, let me show you the actual example. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the campus, you can also look at your grades, yeah? So, for example, on week four, uh, probably you, uh, you already know that uh, in Sampurna, you will be assessed on your performance uh, on week four and week eight, right? So, suppose on week four, your grades is a little below... I don't know, B or C? B, then you will be put on the student success radar. So they, they will come to the lecturers and ask whether or not you need uh, tutorial services or not. Yeah, because it's a sign that you might have challenges. You might have, uh, you might need help in your particular course on week four, right? And it will uh, taken from the grades here. 
right? So, and don't worry about your success because Sampurna can help you, right? All you have to do is just come to your lecturers and ask help, okay? And then and we can provide, uh, I don't know, ma mathematics, right? We have calculus tutorial, English tutorial, yeah? It depends on what you need and we can cater that, okay? So just ask for help. Okay, oh, 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 oh. Go back to our, that's the grades. Mm. It's slowing down the internet. Uh, okay, so in one session, you, they also have an attendance list, right? So don't forget to ask your lecturers to uh, mark your attendance here. Like, who is Hari Analta? Hari, not here. Hans? Hans, okay. Jessica? Oh. Marbella? Okay. Evelina? Oh. Aisha? Atala? Atala? Davin Hussein? Oh. Oh, okay. Just charge it. Okay, good. Okay, can you share it with him? Yeah. Okay. Felicia, Valerie. Oh. Oh, Aisha. Oh, sorry. sorry. Carton. Okay. Evangelica. Not here. Elifia. Oh. Jemama. Hi. Andika. Andika, not here. Dave, Azriel. James. James. Mazaya. Natasha. Natasha. Raphael. Raphael. Kaum. Do I spell it the right way? Kaum. Okay. Nurul. Nurul. Bizalea. Okay. Raden. Raden. Alexi. Alexi. Ray Ali. Hugo. Oh. Adinda. Adinda. Indra. Muhammad Fadil. Not here. Philip. Hin. Hello. Jacinda. Yes. Nikwita, not here. Dionysia, okay. Willard, Yusuf, okay. So that's the way we do attendance here, right? And if you're absent, so there are options here, yeah. Whether it's a sick permission or something, yeah. Don't forget the uh, certificate from the doctors, from the clinics, right? Okay. So far, any question? Sorry. Yeah. After that. Yeah, a day or two after. It depends on when, whether uh, the level of the kid is right. Just like the regular in high school, right? Okay. Other questions? Do you have any problem logging into campus? No problems? Okay. Now let's go inside the modules itself. Go to the home page, and then let's see here. Uh, view as a student. Uh, this is your view, right? 
Now, we can go to the modules here. Okay. This is the welcome page. In the welcome page, you will know everything about your facilitators, about your lecturers. They might give you uh, information like email. Uh, these are from four of us. Yeah. Uh, email and WhatsApp number in case you need them. Okay. And um, they also include uh, the appointment time for consultation. Okay. Okay, let's go back to welcome page. Uh, go to the modules. Um, any of you are fond of calculus? <laughs> okay, that's why I give you an example of calculus, because I know you are fond of it. No, just just kidding. Uh, so the the modules will give you a page of information first, right? Like this one, they give you a topic, they give you information, and then the lecturers might provide some videos to help you learn about a particular topic. Okay, so. Uh, uh, let's play it. Hmm. It's not working. I don't know why. Probably because all of us using the uh, internet at the same time. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Maybe if I can just use my own class. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. It's also the same. Okay. Go back to this one. Okay, this is an example of my own class. Let's see if the video works, right? So, uh, I'm from the Faculty of Education, so mostly I teach linguistics. Okay, so it's not calculus. <laughs> so, so uh, this is discourse analysis. So you study the use of language, right? So in the use of language, we also pay attention to context, right? Can any of you uh, give an example of context, types of context? When we talk, when we write, what are the contexts that we should pay attention to? Yes. Topic, good topic. Time. If you write, we are expected to be more formal, and then we think we can be more formal. Yes. So when we use language, the first thing we need to do is to pay attention to who speaks to whom. Right? Who speaks to whom? Because there are relations. The relation will indicate whether we have to be formal or not. And then the time also, right? The time and topic. Here is the time when we have to be a little bit formal. This is classroom setting, right? The time is classroom session. If it is not a classroom session, we can be less formal, right? So that, that is setting. That is setting. Now, uh, a context. Now, I want to introduce you to another types of context, which is music. Do you think music is a part of context? Do you think music can dictate what kind of language that we use? Give me an example. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh. 
Okay. What kind of music that can criticize the government? Oh, okay. Right. Uh, I hope this video works. Okay, the music, does it contribute to the interpretation of the video, of the scene? Yes. In what way? Oh, suspension, building suspension. Okay, good. So it's like fighting scenes, right? It's fighting scenes. Okay, now if the scene is the same, and that we change the music. Would it be, you know, would you have the same interpretation of that particular scene? Are you sure? Let me give you an example. I hope it works. Come on. Oh, no. Ah. Same scene. Okay. <laughs> so uh, at, at this moment, like for, for example, like this, what I plan is after they watch the two video in Canvas, they will go to this uh, class notes and comments, right? And then they, they have to write down their impression of those two videos, right? And then they can exchange ideas, right? using this uh, Google form. Okay. And so on Canvas, the lecturers will give you those kind of media to learn. Okay. So watch the video. Some students might just look for uh, assignments. They don't want to learn from Canvas. <laughs> they just want to get a good grades, but it doesn't work that way, right? It takes a process. One of the process is read the page, right? The lecturers have given you all the materials, all the medias for learning there, including videos like that, okay? Now, another way of uh, doing this is like this one. Uh, they have slides, this one, right? And if the lecturers ask to read a particular articles, it might lead you to a quiz or a, an assignment, okay? So you have to read it, okay? And there are activities here, mm, okay. And some of the medias that the lecturers might use is like a Padlet here. Let's see if it works. Ah. I don't know why it's slowing down. Hmm. Okay, so this is a Padlet. So it's, it's like an, uh, a discussion forum, right? So they will give you a kind of video here, right? And then you have to add comments below, right? Just so that the, the lecturers know, okay, you already watched the videos and you can connect the video to the materials that is in Canvas, okay? Uh, so, uh, we have, oh, this is an example from, from my students. Yes. Uh, don't forget to give names there so uh, the lecturers know that this is you talking, okay? So, basically, in one page, this is your uh, 
virtual classroom, right? It's a virtual classroom. You can learn it by yourself, actually, at home. But then again, if you get to calculus or something, you need help, right? So going to the classroom is, is like getting help from the lecturers, right? To confirm what you learned earlier, right? So, so you, you can use two way or two methods of learning. Learning independently using Canvas and then confirm what you learn uh, with your lecturers. That's how you learn. Any questions so far? Yes. Yes. Not the assignment. Yes. Yeah. So it's a it's a flip method. So read before the classroom. Learn something before the classroom. And mind you, you have better eyes than us because because you can go through the internet all night long, right? Probably you can get uh, uh, more relevant materials from the internet than us. So you can uh, initiate a discussion forum based on what you learn from the internet on that particular topic, okay? So in that way, the lecturers can also learn from you, right? And this is an AI era, <laughs> don't forget. So if you, I want to learn more about language and context. Gemini, thank you, <laughs> right? Or chat GPT. Uh, what's the, the other one from the Microsoft? Uh, Copilot, right? So there are so many ways to learn nowadays, right? Okay, any other questions, comments? Okay, now let's see if we can do uh, some of the quizzes here. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yes, sure. Okay. Now, in each particular assignment, the lecturer should provide rubric. What is a rubric? Assessment rubric, yeah. Something like this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's criteria. Yeah. So, um, for the if 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 you are asked to do something, you need to know the criteria, right, for getting an A or for getting a B, right? So they give you a rubric. So from that rubric, you know what the lecturers expect from you. Okay, like this one. Uh, you can get a full points if you fulfill this criteria for for this, right? Uh, I think there are only 30 points maximum here, right? So check the rubric first. If you do assignment, if you do homework, check the rubric, right? So you can also assess yourself. Oh, I don't have any uh, good um, um, supporting details for this, so I might get just 15 instead of 20, right? So you can also do self-assessment using the rubric. Okay. Now for the discussion here, so, uh, oh, they ask you to uh, watch something and give comments here below, right? So your comments will be assessed using this particular rubric, all right? Um, yeah, this is uh, quite a bit uh, subjective because comments, right? Comments. Uh, let's use another example. Oh, trial quiz. Let's use this one. It is locked. Hmm? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Wait, wait. Can we do something else? Can you do Canvas quiz? Can you go to modules or quizzes? 
here and go to this canvas quiz. Is it open already? Okay, I didn't find to do it. It's related to our session today. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. Easy. What's your answers? Yes. <laughs> so this is just an example, just a trial. Don't worry. OK, now let me go back to our modules. Uh, hey. So we also provide guidelines. Uh, in case you want to learn more about how to use Canvas, uh, we provide student guides. You can just click this. And we'll have some uh, PDF for the guidelines here and also videos, right? And on the first week, if you have problems with the internet or with the Canvas, you can always ask to, uh, the lecturer's help, or you can go to our help Wait, uh, I think it's in the home here. Uh, help. It's not here. Hmm. Oh, it's slowing down. Oh, this one. This one is help. In the home page, the lecturers might uh, give information about the help that you can get. So if you have problem with your uh, internet, uh, passwords, with Canvas, uh, you can uh, email the IT support here, right? Um, access card, they already have access card. Yes. If they have, you have problems, you can go to the student first here. Okay. For general information about Canvas, you can go to the student guides here. Okay. So I think you can uh, ask for help from this uh, desk. Okay. Page. Facilitators. Oh, general question and answer. Hmm. Oh, okay. All right, so I think, oh, wait, just to give you an example. OK, uh, please pay attention to syllabus. OK, so uh, for example, this is from my class. They have uh, some lectures might give you a, a very long syllabus. Some lectures just try to summarize it right for, for the topics like this one. This is a summary of the uh, syllabus, right? And then uh, the objective of the course, right? And the assessment types. So in this way, you know uh, 
that you are expect to get, uh, let's say here, uh, 50% for the midterm test and final test altogether. Okay. And then for assignment, woo, 30%. That's a lot, right? So each courses will be given this kind of information. And also the some of the main references for that particular course, right? Um, have they told you about the post teaching report system? No. Oh. Okay. So, based on the syllabus, for example, uh, here, they uh, week one basic concepts in this course analysis. So. Later on in your academic portal, the lecturer will ask one of you to verify whether or not the lecturer has given you basic concepts in this course analysis. Okay. Uh, but uh, let's see if we can access it today. I'm not sure whether it's already open. <laughs> So you have, uh, you can make comments. Uh, for example, if the lecturers hasn't given you basic concepts in this course analysis because of something else, yeah, came up. So you have the right not to verify that particular session. Okay? So verifying it is just like clicking it. Yeah, click on, on a particular button in this academic portal. Uh, it looked like this one actually. Wait. Um, it hasn't already opened here. Um, oh, this one. So the lecturers will input what they have given you in week one. And then the students have to verify it. Okay. If you already verify it, um, Chinese or that portal from the single sign-on. Post teaching report. Ah. Verification. Okay. So from academic portal, you go to the post teaching report verification, and then um, because it hasn't been input, but uh, next week they will be given you all your courses there, right? So you can verify uh, the lecturer's uh, activity in classroom. Okay. Yeah, uh, post-teaching, post-teaching. Ah, verification. It has a different yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. Yes. Post-teaching, post-teaching. So after the class, uh, Complete the lecturers will ask one of you randomly yeah, to verify. Okay. So it has something to do with our way to make sure that the lecturers pay attention to the syllabus. Okay. So check the syllabus on campus too. All right. Modules. Mm -hmm. We already talked about grades, file syllabus. I think that's all about it. Wow. Do you have any question, guys? Mm -hmm. So, from the Faculty of Engineering, have you gone to the uh, library? Not yet. Just outside, uh, just outside of it. Okay. Uh, Oh, oh. I, uh, is it the test student? Uh, leave student view. So in in one of the home page that that like uh that 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 I developed, I also uh, put a link to our uh, library. So please check whether the the lecturers put 
the link to our library because it connects to uh, these sites where you can enjoy the, uh, the luxury of our collections, right? We have uh, also ebooks and e journals, and there's also a link to um, Arizona University uh, Library, right? Uh, so I think you, you will go to one of the, Gabby, will they go to the library? Ah, uh, okay. All right. So, but uh, you you don't have to go to the library because you already have the websites like this, right? Yeah. So you can you can uh, look at the e collections here, and they can also access the Arizona library, right? Yes. Um, but if not, uh, always feel free to come over to the library and ask uh, them some questions. Yeah. There's a lot of libraries that, that can help you. Is it, uh, and, and how do they access it? Do they use a, 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 a special password, special cards? Yeah, so you can use that to log in, but the password, the password should be set as your birthday. Should be. If not, uh, I can try asking later on. Uh, okay. Check when the library session is in. Is it, can you log in? But you sort of give it a username on the night. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So that's what is username. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. That's that's the thing. So uh, each lecturers uh, will give you it in their homepage, yeah, like this one about the lecturer. Uh, so they will give you the means of communication with with the lecturer. Uh, for example, here we have emails and WhatsApp numbers. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, make sure to go to the library sometime next week during your first or second week. Mm -hmm. uh, go to the librarian and ask, Kaika, I want to register my... Uh, student ID so I can access the library online. Yes, yes. Right. So don't worry about uh, communicating with your lecturers. They will give you their emails and their numbers there. Okay. All right. I think that's all about it. Oh, okay. This one, yeah. Wait. I can go to no, not this one. Up, uh, the reflect. Yes. Okay. Uh, wait. Right. So to end our session, can you go to reflect and evaluate your Canvas journey? So go to your module. Wait, let me view it as a student so I can go with you. And then more about Canvas and go all the way down to reflect and evaluate your Canvas journey. Here at the very bottom. Uh, you click this. Right, and there's a link to the evaluation form. Let's click this. Ah, it's still running. Okay. Uh, oh, 
I have to sign it first. Can you open the Google form? Okay. Please fill in. Yeah. Go to modules. That's probably the other one. D, section D, right? This one? Yes. If your class is section D, Delta. And my name is Krishna. Delta, D. Krishna. Oh, <laughs> 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 Don't say it quite in this I think yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, go oh, to the reflection. It depends on your go to modules. I won't have to do this. What is the Finish already? Okay. Now, thank you very much. But before we close down the session, I want to make sure that this particular Delta class know about how to address people correctly. So if somebody address me as Sir Krishna, correct or not? Why? Huh? 
I'm not a noble person. I'm not even connected to the Buckingham Palace. How do you address me as sir? For example, if if uh, I'm like uh, Alex Ferguson, the former Manchester United uh, trainer, he is sir, Sir Alex Ferguson, or the singer. Uh, what's the? I'll oh, forget. The British singer Elton John, Sir Elton John, because Elton already ignited, right? So, but me, no. So it is incorrect. So what you should address me is Mr. Krishna, because in Indonesia we don't use last name, right? We use first name. So Mr. Krishna or Mrs. Susie, for example, right? Don't say Sir Krishna or Ma'am Susie. Or if you are in my class, your score will be deductible to 50 points. <laughs> if you are in my class, right? So if you use Sir, not for honorific address, honorific title, for example, like, excuse me, Sir, that's it. Excuse me, sir. Stop. Right? Uh, can I do this, sir? Stop. Okay. Uh, just uh, to address people, uh, but without names. Okay. And they use uh, a lowercase s, right? Excuse me, sir. But if you address Sir Elton John, you use capital S, right? Like, uh, sir. With capital S and then Elton John. Right? So let's straight up this misinterpretation of how to address people using sir and ma'am. Okay? So, excuse me, ma'am. That's okay. Excuse me, ma'am, Farah. That's incorrect. Oh. All right. What's the difference between these three for ladies? Uh, the first one here is marriage. Okay. The, the, the particular woman is already married, right? What about miss? Oh, this one is single, right? The, the blue one is single, right? Single woman, right, miss? What about MS? Miss. So M I S S, you pronounce it with S, Miss. But M S with Z, Miss. Uh, so M S, Miss, is to address people whether or not they are married or single. So this is like a, a gender, um, yeah, neutral. <laughs> gender neutral. Yes. Yeah. So probably in the classroom session, you address with MS, but with Z, Ms. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Right. Question? Right. I think that's all for today's session. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you have a good day. And we can meet up somewhere in one of the classes, perhaps, if you want to join FOE. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you, everyone. See you. <laughs>